Welcome to the Lady Charmaine Live Show, and I'm your host, Lady Charmaine. And for the next week, I have some great Stellar Award nominated artists and performers that are going to be coming on the show. And today, we have a great artist that's gracing the Lady Charmaine Live Show. My guest today is a two time Stellar Award winning recording artist. He has a new album, Stand in Awe, that was released in September, and he is here today to talk about the 33rd Annual Stellar Awards and his Stellar Award nomination. I want you to help me welcome to the Lady Charmaine Live Show, Mr. Ted Wynn. Welcome, Ted, to the show. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for that intro. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> well, Ted, you know what's so funny? The last time we actually saw one another, it was seven years ago. You may not even remember. We had dinner with Bishop Joseph Walker. It was the Sunday after the Stellars. And so when we all had dinner. This is the one thing that I yeah. learned. Yeah, you remember. So this is the one thing I learned about you. You are very outspoken, especially when it comes to things concerning the church. And you have um, some great views about it. And you also put your messages in your music. And you just released an album in September, Stand In Awe. So I want you to tell us about your message because um, you really have a strong message. So can you please share with us your message and your views that you put in your music? Well, uh, thank you so much for that. I um, yeah, the album is called Standing Off, mm -hmm. and I do. I try to make sure that the songs that I choose, whether they are songs from, written by someone else or songs that I write, are you know message oriented. Um, and so this particular, the, the current single is entitled Standing Off, and it really is like I said, it's like my poem to God, which really talks about the awesomeness of God's you know nature and ability and what I perceive um, through each person's personal relationship that they think when they think about how God is showing up in their life on a daily basis. So for me as I'm an art creator, as an artist, as a singer, I think that, you know, in addition to doing art, we should also make sure that that music that we, that we put out there is, uh, is substantive, like that people can have, you know, conversations around it. Uh, that it, that is something that challenges people on some level. So what is that? What is the song grateful, uh, which is my previous single, which is a song I wrote thinking about growing up as a as a single. I'm sorry, as a as a kid, with uh, who just had my mom in the home, uh, but I having my father there and what that meant for me. And I really like to focus on what I uh, consider to be the power of black women, um, because they were instrumental in raising me. Mom, grandmother, great grandmother, aunts, all around, really making sure that I um, could be the best person, you know, that they could help me to become the best I could be. And I think that when we talk about these songs, my songs in particular, or other people's songs, that there should be other messages incorporated in the music, um, that move us, that challenge us, that inspire us as, as listeners, um, to worship God, to praise God, to celebrate each other, and to, to strive to be the best versions of ourselves possible. Absolutely. And that, that's one thing I love about you, because you really do put your messages in your music, as so many other artists do. Plus, you also have a a, a song out sure. with Miranda Curtis, which you just uh, mentioned. Grateful. So thank you so much for that. Beautiful song. But we yeah. are we are now getting ready to embark upon the biggest night in gospel music, as Kirk Franklin co coins it. He calls it the Gospel Grammys. That's going to be taking place next weekend, and you are nominated for Video of the Year. Tell us about how exciting is that? Because it's a great video. I love the song. The energy in the song is truly a blessing. But what does that nomination mean for you? Uh, you know, I, I, it's it's. I, I think it's really kind of. Uh, it's, it's it's great because that was the first video that mm -hmm. I ever did as an artist. Um, even inside the show, mm -hmm. duet, we never did videos. So for the first video that I did, which was for the song "Grateful," um, to be nominated, I think is is great. Like it's, it's a song that means a lot. Uh, it's a song that me, uh, like I said, really kind of goes down. Memory lane, if you will, in terms of my life. And I think that every person, no matter your position in life, um, no matter who you are, what you're doing, if they are reflective, will be grateful, right? Because we all have something to be grateful for. What I've learned through the course of life is the power of your perspective. But you can choose to see things that happen to you, um, and you can you can look at that as a glass half full, or you can look at, look at that as a glass half empty. So it's about how you choose you know, to see those things. And so I'm, I'm really excited about this opportunity for myself and for um, Tanz Crawley, who's the, the, uh, the guy who produced it with me, because it was also his first video. So, so for us to have this nomination on the first video, I think is really cool. 
Well, that's great. So we know there's going to be so many great performances there. We also have some people that are going to be nominated and they have multiple nominations. So I want to talk about them. We have Anthony Brown and group therapy with 10 nominations. We have Tasha Cobb who has nine nominations, JJ Harrison and youthful praise. They have nine along with Travis Green who have nine nominations. Now, do you have all of their songs in your repertoire of music? I actually do, yeah, mm-hmm. and, and and more to the point. Uh, I also, for some people don't know, I, I you know I, I have a company that does publishing administration, and for and for listeners who have no idea what that means, it mm-hmm. basically just means I represent songwriters. Okay. I represent their business interests, their songs. And JJ Harrison is one of my clients, and so I'm I'm super excited for him. <laughs> um, this is the first time he's ever had this many nominations, <laughs> and so for him and, and for um, Anthony, for Tasha, for Travis. Um, I think it's also great that the, the three of them are relatively new artists, um, and for them to be celebrated by the genre, I think at this point in their career is really great. Um, as opposed to you know not getting a nomination until you've been in it, you know, until your your fifth album. Right. Like I think that <laughs> right. kind of validates people when they're new and when they're in the game early. I think it's encouraging and I think it's inspiring and I think it helps them to keep, you know, part of what helps them to keep keep doing what they do. So I think it's, it's a good look all around. And it's definitely a good look for you and, and your pocketbook. It's always a blessing when you have artists you represent that's nominated. It's a beautiful <laughs> thing. Don't <you? laughs> we don't want to leave that out, do we? No, we don't. <laughs> And plus, we also have some very special award us and, and some nominees and some honors is going to be taking place. We have for the James Cleveland Lifetime Award is going to be Miss Tamala Mann. Congratulations to her. And also the recipient of the Bobby Jones um, Ambassador Legends Award. I think I said that right. Ambassador Dr. Bobby Jones Legends Award is going to be Reverend Milton Bingham. And then we have the Stellar Honors Hall of Fame inductees, none other than Ben Tankard. And then also Dr. Mary Beth Gentry. And then we have Mr. Kirk Carr. And I cannot not wait to see Kirk Cars when they honor him because he has a plethora of songs that has taken us all through. You know, when I mean God is a healer, the presence of the Lord is mm-hmm. here. So I really look forward uh, to that as well. Yeah. And um, who do you look forward to see perform? Because we know Snoop Dogg is performing Mary Mary reunion. Who do you look forward to? You know, honestly, like I because my first love and my my you know what what I'm a fan of is duets. Mm-hmm. And so the Marys are friends of mine. They came out the year before Ted and Sherry. And so that's probably what I'm most excited about is seeing my girls, you know, rock the stage again. I haven't seen them together in the, uh, well, I did a date with them actually like years ago. So it's but that was just like, you know, not that, not, it wasn't, it wasn't, um, uh, something like this. So to see them in this type of setting, uh, I think it's going to be great, but I'm excited about the show in, in general, but I'm, I'm, I'm probably most looking forward to seeing the Mary next year. Well, I am too. And if you if you're looking forward to if you would like to attend the Stellar Awards, like I'm getting tongue tied, here is the information is going to be taking place on Saturday, March the 24th at the Orleans in Las Vegas. Also, is going to be premiering on Good Friday, March 30th on TV One at 7 p.m. For ticket information, just go to the StellarAwards.com and copy your tickets there. And be sure to follow them on social media on Facebook at Stellar Awards and on Instagram and Twitter, the Stellar Awards. Thank you so much, Ted, for coming on the show. It's a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your support and thank you for this time. And good luck on Saturday. We don't want to say good luck. May the Lord bless you (laughs) on Saturday if you win the award. God bless you and have a great day. (laughs) Bye-bye. Thank you, too. Well, that was Mr. Ted Wynn, who was nominated for Video of the Year for a song, Grateful, that he also did in conjunction with Miss Miranda Curtis. Be sure if you want to go to the Stellar Awards, all you have to do is go to the StellarAwards.com to get your tickets. Don't forget, it's going to be on Saturday, March the 24th at the Orleans Arena right there in Las Vegas, Nevada. And this segment of the Lady Charmaine Live Show is sponsored by Up, Up, and Away Travel Services. Contact Miss Sherry Brockman at 916-826-6606 and book your visit. Vacation getaway today. You're watching the Lady Charmaine live show. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a blessed day. Don't forget, Hot Topics with Lady Charmaine tonight at 7 p.m. right here.